In less than two weeks, light rail will be open for business. That's the 27th. And in less than two days, we should find out if the trains will be getting a new look for the new year. The Metro Light Rail Board is expected to take up the issue of allowing advertising on trains at a meeting this week. As Frank Camacho found out, the change in policy could result in big bucks. They need a lot, Frank. Well, that's true, Patty, because ridership will only make up about 25% of the light rail's operating budget, so they need to get some revenues from any sources they can. Now, ironically, the board is reconsidering its position at the behest of the Phoenix Suns and the NBA, which will be holding its all-star game in downtown Phoenix next February. Lawyers do it, so do grocers. Advertise on public transit, that is. It's my understanding that most cities with light rail throughout the United States and, and throughout the world, in fact, uh, permit advertising. But not here in the valley, at least not yet. The trains that soon will be carrying passengers are pristine. That could change Wednesday when the Metro Light Rail Board of Directors next meet. The board will consider a proposal from the NBA to wrap three trains in advertising. It will also put up ads at the 3rd Street in Jefferson and 3rd Street in Washington station platforms. If approved, the endeavor will provide a six-week testing period to see if the public likes ads on trains. Tim Reister of Reister Advertising believes they will. I think for uh, the NBA to come into town and, and want to do a project with light rail makes great sense. Reister is the president and CEO of one of the Valley's most prestigious advertising firms. He thinks allowing ads on trains makes sense, especially in this down economy, as long as standards are set and maintained. If we're going to accept advertisers who are responsible, who are quality, who represent our community well, uh, and we're going to only accept the type of graphics that enhance the ridership experience and not those that are detracting from it or that are an embarrassment to the community. Now, there appears to be a great deal of support for this proposal on the board. After all, it really is a win-win situation for them. It is key. The key part of this will be the testing period. It'll give folks about six weeks to see if they like ads on the trains. Plus, it'll bring in another, let's say, four hundred to six hundred thousand dollars in brand new revenue to uh, the Metro Light Rail. So it appears that this is, may go in some form. And again, the board will meet on Wednesday morning. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, I'm Frank Camacho, 3TV, the place with more news. Patty. Thank you, Frank, and go on and get warm.